Good, good morning, everyone. Or good afternoon. Or good afternoon. <laughs> um, so you're here for the presentation of the Master Program in International Economics at the University of Orléans. And we are the directors of this program. Anthony. I'm Anthony Paris. I'm a professor and a researcher. I'm specialized in uh, energy transition and oil market and uh, energy market in general. And I'm Camelia Turco. I'm a full professor of economics at the University of Orléans. And um, I um, work mainly in international economics. And more recently, I have started to work also in uh, resource and environmental economics. So um, we will continue the presentation by allowing you to see some key points related to the uh, master program. So um, the master program is accredited by both the University of Orléans and the University of Tours. And it offers a two-year program of excellence, in Master 1 and Master 2. Uh, all the courses are held in English, and uh, they are organized at the University of Orléans. Maybe a bit of um, uh, history here. Uh, we launched the program in 2018, um, and uh, we opened the first year of the master program here at the University of Orléans. And the Master II has, was organized for one year at the University of Tours. Since 2020, all the courses are held at the University of Orléans. In terms of organization, what do we have? Uh, in the Master I, uh, we have approximately 400 hours of uh, teaching. And in Master II, um, we have approximately 200 teaching hours that are very much concentrated over the first semester, so three to four months from September till December. And this allows our students to uh, start their internship rather early because they can already uh, start at the very beginning of January of the academic year. Okay. Um, in terms of research affiliation, as you might know, um, each master program has to be affiliated to a research center, and our master program in particular is supported by the research center uh, in economics based in Orléans. It is called LIO, Laboratoire d'Economie d'Orléans, and in particular, the research team of this research center that uh, works in international economics and sustainable development. I have the pleasure also to uh, co-direct the uh, research team um, in international economics and sustainable development uh, at our research center. So maybe a bit more about the Master One program. And um, further on, we'll tell you a bit more about the Master Two classes. So in the first year of the master program, we offer three blocks of courses, fundamental courses, professional courses, and technical ones that are very much dedicated to applied econometrics and statistics and languages. Uh, we encourage our students to um, do um, an internship, a professional internship, or a research internship already in the Master One. And this internship can be of two up to three months. And it is not compulsory, it is optional, but it is strongly encouraged. So um, we um, have a lot of students that do internships already in the Master I. Uh, several examples of internships um, in, in the Master I, they were um, done at CEPI in Paris or France Stratégie uh, or in um, uh, export uh, import um, enterprises as Talk Express, for example. More about the Master I courses, as said, there are three blocks of courses. The fundamental courses deal with uh, international economics, environmental economics, advanced macroeconomics, economics of migration, uh, for example. You have here the list of the fundamental courses and the teachers, the professors that are in charge of. Um, then we continue uh, the professional um, block of, we, we continue with the professional uh, block of courses that are all taught by professionals coming from different backgrounds, from the Bank of France, for example, or from the French uh, Development Agency, or from Oxford Economics, or from SAPI. Um, and um, 
the, the last block of courses that is proposed in the Master 1 is dedicated to e kinematics, statistics, and languages. And here we start with a data analysis uh, e um, and uh, e kinematics. That is a refreshment course that is proposed by Anthony at the very beginning of the academic year. So this allows uh, you to work with yeah. students and to harmonize that. Yeah, there's a level uh, in econometrics because some students uh, doesn't ha that didn't have a class in econometrics before, so we uh, tried to have a homogeneous uh, level uh, in October. Yeah, so already in September, be ready to take the uh, data analysis and econometrics uh, classes. Um, and then you will continue with um, other types of uh, um, econometrics and statistics courses that are uh, dedicated to the analysis of uh, panel data or time series. Uh, and later on during the year, and in particular in the second semester, you will work um, in a nonlinear framework related to uh, data analysis and econometrics. You will also have applications uh, um, in terms of econometrics to international trade. And um, yeah, uh, all um, this knowledge uh, at the end will be used in your professional project because you will also have a class that is dedicated to uh, writing a professional project, which is about the master one thesis, if you wish. So um, maybe a bit more about this. Uh, three blocks of courses uh, is available in the next slide. Here you will see clearly how these blocks of courses are um, proposed each semester, because each semester you will have fundamental courses, professional ones, and uh, um, statistic and econometrics and language oriented ones. So um, you will have here more details also uh, related to the number of hours that uh, are allocated to each course and the number of credits that are available for each course. If you wish to learn more about this, um, you do not hesitate to visit our website or to ask your questions uh, online. On the top of the traditional courses that are proposed through the three blocks, what we also offer to our students is very much related to interactions with foreign professionals and professors. So we offer um, courses uh, that are taught by foreign invited professors, as the ones that are listed here, for example, um, Volker Nietzsche from the University of Darmstadt um, taught several courses um, and will be with us also um, from, from, from uh, September on, Shahi Arzaki uh, as well. Um, we also had several invited professionals that interacted with um, our students either through traditional courses or through the conferences that are organized by the uh, students of the association study, the association of the students of the Master in International Economics. The students organize conferences on a regular basis, and I will have the pleasure to invite you at the next conference organized by our students uh, this Thursday already. Uh, the conference is proposed by uh, uh, Mr. Sauvage uh, from uh, OECD. Thus, interactions through lectures and seminars with uh, foreign professors and professionals um, is um, also completed by um, other types of sessions that are offered to our students. I'm talking here about documentary sessions. We invite our students to follow each year at least two sessions um, dedicated to um, learning a bit more how to use and how to search the uh, information available at the um, library of our faculty or on the website that is dedicated uh, to uh, searching for information through the library. So um, this is crucial in order, for example, uh, to learn how to use uh, specific references for your projects, for the thesis, and you learn uh, how to use this information with uh, professionals. In the last years, we also um, encourage our students to interact with um, students coming from other universities as uh, the uh, ones that work here in Orléans uh, for a winter school from Beijing. 
We also encourage our students to interact with pupils, with um, uh, students that uh, are interested in learning a bit more about the European economics, and this has been done uh, through uh, the uh, Rencontre Citoyenne Européenne, um, sessions dedicated to Let's Talk About Europe. And we also, uh, as already mentioned, organized uh, several uh, conferences uh, together with the students of the association study. As you might remember, uh, the association of the uh, students of the master program. I will continue now uh, the presentation with um, more details about the master two program. Uh, as said, in the Master 2, all the courses um, are concentrated over a three, four month period in the first semester of the Master 2, so semester 9, uh, if you wish. And all in all, we have about 200 hours of courses that are um, offered to the students uh, within this semester. In the second um, semester of the Master 2, semester 10, if you wish, the students need to choose between two tracks, the professional one and the research one. Um, we can discuss a bit more about how this um, uh, selection or uh, yeah, selection of tracks is, is, uh, uh, is done. Um, but um, first, let me tell you that um, in all the courses that are proposed in the Master 2, we follow the same logic as in the Master 1, three blocks of courses, fundamentals, professional, and technical courses. And we continue uh, also um, the um, interactions with foreign professors and professionals. And again, you have here a list of uh, the ones who interacted with our students through uh, the last years. You have here more details about the classes that are proposed um, in the semester nine. Um, in orange, you have the fundamental courses. In gray, uh, the um, um, econometrics and statistics oriented ones together with the ones that are uh, um, proposed in terms of languages. And in blue, the ones that are proposed by professionals. Maybe here um, more information about the language courses that are offered to the students because what we do here is that we offer uh, French language courses to the students uh, that um, perfectly uh, sp speak English who are coming from uh, countries in which uh, English is uh, uh, the language that is used. Um, and we offer also English classes to the students that would need to reinforce, uh, to strengthen a bit more their English level. So um, at the very beginning of the year, you'll have the opportunity to choose either to take French classes, if you feel like your English is sufficiently uh, advanced, uh, or English-oriented uh, classes if you felt like uh, English could be a bit more strident here. Anyway, in order to join our master program, you will need to have at least a B2 level in English. Um, as for the semester 10, the semester 10, as mentioned uh, already, uh, proposes two tracks, a professional track and a research-oriented one. In the professional track, you need to uh, do uh, an internship, which uh, would need to have a duration of minimum five months and maximum six months. And at the end of your internship, you need to write a report, dissertation if you wish, and of course you need uh, to, uh, to defend your, your report. In the research track, you have the opportunity to have a research internship but it is not compulsory. You can simply take the classes that are offered in the research track, and uh, in this case, you will need uh, to um, have the classes validated and to write a dissertation. If you take a research internship, you are um, obliged, you have to take the classes anyway. So the classes are uh, compulsory within the research track. 
and I will be very happy, will be very happy to tell you a bit more about the research track if you uh, have questions about it. But anyway, there are presentations that are offered to our students uh, in the Master 1 and in the Master 2 uh, with more details about the uh, professional track and the research track as well. Some examples now uh, about the different internships that were um, done by our students in the Master 2. You have here different types of firms, institutions and banks in which our students did their internship. You have um, like um, um, import and export companies or um, a non-governmental uh, organization or um, um, or uh, institutions that uh, are oriented for, uh, towards country risk analysis. And here you have the different tasks that are proposed to our students. And I can continue with this kind of examples. Um, you have here more uh, information, for example, in order to see that the students can also join um, yeah, um, insurance companies or banks in order to do their internships. This is something very much possible as well. Uh, or they uh, uh, can join multinationals, as this is the case here, for example, a, a Renault retail group. Uh, or um, they can be involved in institutions as the French uh, Development Agency. So um, again, the list is very long. <laughs> here you have just some examples. Um, you can also do your internship uh, in a research center, as it was the case, for example, with some of the students that took the research uh, track, or um, they did it also at the Foundation uh, Mines Body Tech, uh, again, uh, in a research uh, perspective. Now, maybe a bit more about the success stories uh, of our students. Um, we always take uh, one example in particular because it was uh, one of the students uh, who got a first job you know, within uh, a difficult time, the pandemics, you remember, uh, and uh, she was very happy to share with us her uh, her first feelings about uh, her first job uh, um, after graduating uh, uh, from our master program. I'll be happy to tell you a bit more about it um, if you wish. Otherwise, I will simply let you uh, read what she shared with us. She's um, uh, uh, chief, uh, project chief uh, in uh, Precia Molin, uh, a multinational um, that is based in France. And um, we can continue the list of success stories, of course, uh, maybe a bit more about the students that joined the research track and that continue, who continued further on with um, a PhD program. Uh, all the students benefited of PhD scholarships and integrated the PhD programs either here in Orléans or uh, in uh, other universities as University Paris Saclay, for example. Let me sum up. <laughs> um, so in terms of internships, what do we encourage our students to do? First of all, um, we encourage them to um, get involved in an internship of two and up to three months already in the master one. Um, and anyway, in terms of internship uh, in the second year of the master program, the internship is compulsory. Uh, and um, it is obviously uh, subject to evaluation. The students are encouraged also to do their internship outside of France. It was the case of um, several of our students who did their internships in uh, different parts of the world, in Finland, for example, or Luxembourg more recently, for example. And now you might think, okay, but in which sectors of the economy this is done? Uh, it can be in the public sector or in mixed public private administrations and ministries in research centers as well. Uh, it can be very much in the private sector as well, um, private sector that involves um, um, multinationals, banks, uh, rating agencies, uh, all um, that are um, uh, open to uh, work in an international context. And of course, uh, in um, international institutions and non-governmental organizations around the world. Furthermore, uh, let me tell you a bit more about different types of professions and occupational uh, integration of our students. So through the master program, we try to help the students to get a solid background, um, both in a, in a theoretical one and a practical one, 
uh, that is needed in order to work uh, in international uh, economics and uh, in, in an international business environment. Um, after the graduation um, uh, of the professional track, um, several types of career opportunities are offered to our students um, as, for example, specialists in international economics in large enterprises, multinational companies, as country risk analysts, as business economists, as specialists uh, in international sustainable development. Because um, in the master program, each semester, we also provide classes that are related to uh, sustainable development, environmental economics. Uh, this is a dimension that is meant to get reinforced through the years to come. When it comes to the graduation uh, from the master uh, program research uh, track, um, several types of career choices are also proposed in terms of uh, teaching and research in universities, business schools, as researcher, for example, in different research centers in France or abroad, or uh, as a specialist in international economics working for uh, international institutions. For example, one of uh, our former students uh, who uh, is enrolled in the PhD program is now um, an intern at the World Bank. When it comes to Unaligned the international dimension of the master program, let me uh, briefly tell you that this international dimension can be identified through four axes. First, through the uh, origin of our students. Every year we welcome students coming from different parts of the world, uh, coming from, uh, let's say, 15 <laughs> to 20 countries. Um, you have here a list, and I was saying it is for sure not a complete list of all the countries from which our students are, are coming. Uh, so you can see that is very uh, diversified. We also uh, built uh, uh, partnerships with international organizations with several universities as well through the contact uh, that we have with uh, researchers and professionals uh, uh, from, from those uh, organizations. We also um, have a strong international participation in the Master's Steering Committee. You will see uh, in a moment that yeah, uh, uh, the Master Program uh, welcomes um, in uh, its steering committee um, members from uh, different uh, backgrounds, different countries, um, from universities or from uh, multinationals or from international institutions. And we also, and this is the fourth uh, line of action in terms of international development, we also encourage our students to do um, at least one semester abroad. And this can be done at a partner foreign university um, in Europe or, um, or, or outside Europe. We have agreements with uh, more uh, than 40 um, uh, universities around the world, and every year our students go abroad uh, and do a, at least a semester um, in, uh, in this uh, partner institutions. You can contact the professor in charge of international relations. She is always present at the welcome meeting at the very beginning of September, um, and she's uh, willing to give you further information about the way the international relations and the international mobility can be further uh, developed. And all the agreements that we are having uh, um, are available at the following link. As for the partner universities, uh, as mentioned, we have several Erasmus agreements with key universities in Europe, but also uh, we have agreements with other universities outside Europe. Uh, for example, in our steering committee, we have a member um, coming from the Hannah School of Economics in China, and we are building a strong cooperation with the University of Sfax in Tunisia. We have uh, already uh, agreements at the bachelor's level, and uh, in the years to come, there will be also uh, stronger agreements at the master level. As for the scientific committee, um, the steering committee, sorry, uh, the steering committee, as mentioned, um, the steering committee gathers um, members from different backgrounds, from different institutions, uh, from different countries around the world, and we have a scientific board uh, as well as a professional one. 
um, every year our steering committee uh, is invited to meet and to discuss about the further developments of the master program. We will have the next meeting of the steering committee uh, at the uh, end of June. What do we offer to our students on the top of uh, all the classes and lectures and interactions with professionals that we already mentioned? We also invite them to follow the classes of the Graduate School Orléans Numérique, GESEN, uh, which is a, a university diploma open uh, to the uh, uh, 15 masters of the University of Orléans, as well as to the PhD students, and it covers a program related to the data sciences. Our students, hence, have the possibility to obtain, on the top of the master's university diploma, a university diploma, and this is then free of charge. We are happy to share with you uh, all the information related to JSON. We uh, invite the responsible uh, of the uh, JSON program every year to come and to talk to our students tell them a bit more about the program and about the uh, enrollment in this program. Everything is done in order to allow the students to follow correctly the master program of uh, our <laughs> master in international economics and the graduate school or Leon Numerique program. You will be uh, able to find more information uh, about this on uh, the website of Jason. And Additionally, what we also encourage our students to do is to get more uh, involved in the PEPIT program. Uh, again, dedicated meetings are proposed to the students at the very beginning of the year in order to um, allow uh, to, to the students to understand a bit more about how to become an entrepreneur. Um, we have uh, strong relations with uh, uh, the responsibles of the uh, program who uh, uh, is invited every year to come to talk to the students, to invite them to participate in the CREA Campus program, to learn a bit more about the um, different uh, um, status of uh, student entrepreneur uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, pattern can be, uh, can be offered. All the information are again available here uh, following the link uh, available on the web, uh, on the uh, slide. Let me uh, summarize by um, underlining the main assets of the Master in International Economics. So we have privileged uh, relations with multinationals. Um, several of our professionals are coming from uh, this background uh, of uh, multinationals. Um, we have uh, also privileged relations with um, national organizations as uh, Banque de France, CP, or French Development Agency, as well as with international institutions. We tried over time to build a strong network of professionals that are involved in the classes that are offered each semester to our students and to invite our students to work um, in, within a professional uh, project-based uh, environment. Um, they are invited to attend the conferences and the seminars at each semester to get involved in projects that are uh, built in a team environment. Um, they are also um, offered several opportunities to meet professionals and researchers in the field. As for the admission process, um, yeah, everything is already done. <laughs> you have heard uh, the um, uh, list of criteria that are requested in order to join uh, our master program. Um, you should have a particular interest in globalization related issues in international policies, um, a solid background in um, uh, statistics or econometrics, to have at least a B2 equivalent in, in English, and uh, to have a three-year degree um, in economics or uh, business or uh, engineering math, um, but I haven't taken economics uh, and statistics and minors. As for the recruitment process, everything is already done uh, by now. <laughs> uh, and we did it through uh, two platforms, Campus France, Equipe en France, and monmaster.cov.fr. Uh, so um, here you have the links where you can have more information about the master program, the uh, email uh, where uh, we are um, 
reachable. Um, so if you wish to learn a bit more about the master program from our students, <laughs> you're invited to contact the uh, Students Association study uh, or to follow us on LinkedIn or on Facebook or to yeah, have a look at the uh, uh, video of the master program as well or to join uh, to yeah, visit our, our website. So thank you so much for your attention. And for the first questions too. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for the questions as well. Huh? Uh, we have several questions here already. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. We didn't uh, take the, the questions during the presentation, but we are happy to answer them uh, yeah, as they are uh, coming. So first question that we can see there, do you have internships offers or we have to find it? <laughs> Both. <laughs> we already have um, uh, data based off all the internships that uh, our uh, students did over the years. So this is something that we can share with you easily and all the offers that we received by emails from uh, our previous former students uh, from uh, our network as well, we share uh, all the uh, offers with you, but you are also encouraged to look <laughs> for internships yourself through your own network as well. Um, so we do both. <laughs> And we can do the interview for you, so in fact, uh, you, you find yourself your uh, internship even if we help you, obviously. Yeah, we can also try to prepare uh, the students for, for um, interviews. Uh, in the second year of the master program, we have also a class that is dedicated to writing a CV, preparing for uh, an interview, writing a motivational letter, being able to, yeah, uh, react during interviews, look for, uh, learn how to look for offers as well, uh, internship offers and job offers as well. Um, another question, there are several questions coming. So another question that we have here, is there a limited number of spots for research and professional? Uh, I think that you're thinking here about what is happening in the Master 2 program. So uh, how do we uh, encourage students to yeah, follow the research track or the professional track? So uh, to be honest, grades are crucial in the story. <laughs> uh, in order to be able to join the research track, you have in general to have uh, an average of 14 or above over the master one and uh, the first semester of the master two because the selection is then at the end of the uh, uh, first semester of the master two. There are not necessarily a limit, there is not necessarily a limited number of, of spots for uh, the research track, but in general, uh, it's important to know that once you get enrolled in the research track, it's in order to yeah, continue further with the PhD program. And the opportunities uh, in terms of PhD scholarships are not so numerous. So the selection is very tough here. So depending on the year, we can select between yeah, four to six maximum, around five, yeah, to put it like this, uh, uh, this year, for example, we had uh, four students that uh, were enrolled in the research track. All the others were in the professional track. So the selection is, is, is tough once again. But this is something that we discuss with the students, again, uh, from uh, the very beginning. We present them the options and try to understand their career objectives. Depending on their career objectives, we can uh, really uh, accompany them as much as possible. Um, further, uh, in that, I hope yeah, I provided, we provided sufficient information concerning the professional and the research track. Now, uh, another question that is uh, available here, which extra courses are provided for the research track students? For 
the next year on, from the next year on, you will have five classes that you will need to take within the research track, so the second semester of the uh, master program, uh, master two program, to be uh, precise. You will have to take uh, classes in advanced econometrics, advanced uh, uh, finance, um, advanced macro, advanced micro, and uh, new research methods in international and environmental economics. So those are the five courses that are uh, proposed to the students of the research track, besides the writing of the dissertation. Further, um, another question, uh, are there any scholarships offered to the students? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, there are uh, scholarships that are offered to the students. So every year, uh, several of our students that are enrolled in the Master One can benefit of uh, scholarships that are offered by the region uh, Centre Val de Loire uh, and uh, together with the university. And those scholarships are offered based on merit to the uh, students who arrive uh, for the very first time in France. So um, we propose uh, the um, um, yeah, applications of our students. You do not need to do anything special. It is up to the directors of the master program to um, yeah, support your applications for this type of scholarships. And thus, then the selection is made at uh, the level of the university and of the region. And of course, for the um, PhD program, if you uh, are enrolled in the research track, the idea is to continue with uh, the PhD program. And then uh, for the PhD program, you need to have a, a scholarship. So we try to prepare our students uh, in this respect. Do you accept foreign students? Of course. Yes. <laughs> uh, most of our students are foreign students. <laughs> so, of course, we accept foreign students. Around two-thirds of our students, yeah. I think, yeah, are at from, least, from at foreign least. countries. Uh, yeah, all the class. Um, another question um, uh, um, is, uh, yeah, another question is related to the place where the courses are uh, held. All the classes, all the courses take place here at the University of Orléans, in the campus of the University of Orléans, the same building. Um, another question that we have here is related to the number of young, yeah, uh, uh, of um, uh, the number uh, uh, number of students start, yeah. that are accepted. <laughs> Uh, uh, in uh, in the program uh, and uh, depending on the applications. We are not allowed to tell you more about this because the process, uh, the recruitment process is still ongoing. Um, so what we can tell you already is that we have 15 places uh, that are opened through the uh, Mon Master uh, uh, platform. This is the only information that we are allowed to share with the, with the students. For how many candidates? A lot. <laughs> Too <Yeah>. many. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, yeah, let me continue with uh, the next question. Thank you so much for all the questions. Uh, really, a lot of questions. Uh, what are the usual backgrounds of the students? Usually our students come from uh, bachelors in mm -hmm. economics, um, math info, um, engineering background, if you wish, but with a minor in economics. And we had one from uh, um, a business-related uh, uh, bachelor. I um, hope this um, was clear. Does the university, another question, does the university assess students to secure accommodation in Cruz? Uh, yeah, uh, we 
we try to help students uh, in, in doing so uh, in the sense that um, we have also, um, we forgot to mention, this year we welcomed two IFL scholarships. Uh, so two of our students uh, benefited of um, IFL scholarships. Uh, and uh, for them, the accommodation uh, through the cruise services uh, is uh, uh, secured. But all the other students that are recruited through the Etudes en France platform or who will join us through a more master platform and who are coming uh, to France for the very first time are put in contact with the cruise uh, services and uh, they uh, will um, yeah, be able to have more information uh, through the um, International Relations Office at the university level about the accommodation. We cannot secure 100% everything in terms of accommodation, but we put you in contact with uh, the uh, uh, services that are in charge of this. And in general, uh, many of the students who arrive in France for the very first time can benefit of the uh, cruise services in terms of accommodation. Further, uh, another question, alumni and or referring program. Yeah, there is one uh, that is um, uh, built uh, by the students of the um, association study. So the idea is that uh, we try to collect information on our um, uh, former students and try to share this information with the students of the association. And this is something that will be um, uh, shared with, uh, with you for on once you get enrolled into the master program. In order to make things clear, there will be an integration day for you and uh, the welcome uh, meeting uh, will be uh, organized on September 4, it is the um, uh, first yes, Monday yeah. uh, uh, in, in, in September. So yeah, there is, uh, 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 and there will be a program uh, that will be open to you uh, in this respect. I didn't understand if all the courses are no. So all the courses are in English. Mm -hmm. Everything is in English. So everything is in English. But for the students who are already fluent in English and who would like to learn French, we offer them the possibility not to take the English courses, because as you saw, let me get back to that part of the presentation. Um, they are offered the possibility, free of charge, to take French lessons and to be evaluated for uh, the French lessons that they take instead of the English classes that are proposed to regular students to the ones who feel like yeah, their English level could be further uh, strident. Here you have the possibility either to choose English for economists or French, okay? Uh, you can take French if you're uh, uh, an English uh, native speaker, for example. There is no point in this case to choose English for economists. In this case, you are uh, strongly encouraged to take French lessons. I uh, hope Everything is clear <laughs> on this. Uh, as for the JSON courses, optional uh, and are they available in English? The JSON courses are optional. You're not at all um, obliged to go uh, uh, into the JSON courses. However, it is a plus. It is something that will uh, be available on the top of your master's diploma. So you're encouraged to take them. However, it's not at all compulsory. So it's very much optional. Is it in English too? Unfortunately, no. You can have professors that can eventually propose you um, uh, slides in English or can interact with you in English, but depending on the course that you will choose, um, it can be it will certainly be in French, but the interaction with the professor can be may, can maybe uh, be pursued in, in English. This is something that we discuss uh, on um, a case by case uh, uh, situation uh, with with the students and the professors. 
and depending on the number of students in the course, uh, because I teach in Jason in French with English slide, but uh, some year I have only six to seven students. And in this case, okay, I can give, I can teach in French and in English. I have, I have enough time. So it's not a problem in this case. But when we have 20 students, it's a bit more complicated. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, we are done with the questions. Um, do not forget that the uh, students of the association welcome you uh, f on Thursday at 3 o'clock online for uh, the conference that is proposed by uh, Mr. Uh, Sauvage from the OECD and we will be online as well together with our students and we will um, yeah, be happy to uh, interact with you and to answer your further questions uh, if you have other questions do not hesitate to, to join us and um, yeah, uh, we'll be happy to, to further discuss with you thank you so much for being with us today. Yes. Thank you, and I hope to see you in September. <laughs> yeah, uh, we hope to see many of you uh, in September. Thanks a lot. Uh, Master. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are back. We are back. <laughs> we are back. It seems like there are further questions uh, arriving. So we thought that, yeah, there was no question because for, for several seconds we didn't see any other question arriving. But now uh, um, uh, we see another one coming. Uh, are there any former students of this course? Uh, so what kind of jobs do they have now? Uh, as mentioned, um, I, I think the question is very much related to the master program in general. And uh, the idea uh, would be, in this case, to tell you a bit more about the different, uh, different jobs that our uh, students had uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in their current life. So, of course, there are a lot of former students that still uh, very much interact with us. Um, they are uh, based either in France or abroad. Uh, for example, if I get back to uh, um, the, um, the uh, uh, steering committee on the professional board, for example, uh, Chandelier Rudy, uh, he was one of our former students. He is a chargé de mission here uh, in, uh, in Orléans. Uh, otherwise, uh, we can um, also have uh, 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 other examples in mind. Uh, Andrea Dragic was an economist at COFAS, for example, and now she uh, moved uh, 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 abroad for another challenging job as an uh, uh, economist. Uh, f they can be business economists um, or uh, specialists in international economy, uh, working for um, in different institutions, for banks, for insurance companies, for multinationals, for export or import companies. A lot of uh, different opportunities that were offered to them, or there are other students that followed the research track and they uh, continued their career and as assistant professors or uh, as researchers um, or as lecturer, uh, lecturers as well. Uh, the idea is that the palette of uh, uh, jobs that are proposed is very large and of course further information and more detailed information can be shared with you uh, through uh, the data set, the databases that we have uh, concerning our former students. Hopefully, um, we answer to all the questions this time. We are waiting because, uh, yeah, we didn't expect uh, other questions for. Uh, now everything, okay. uh, yeah, seems uh, like being sta stabilized. In this case, thank you once again for being with us.
Um, this time I think <laughs> we will stop here. Um, and um, yeah, let's uh, uh, hope that we will see many of you uh, in September for uh, the start of the academic year. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much.